Okay, so apparently Owensboro is the bluegrass music capital of the world. Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm gonna be heading over to Fear Expo, a haunt convention today, but I wanted to grab some lunch first. And uh, once I put it out there that I was going to be in Owensboro, Kentucky, I got a lot of recommendations for a particular restaurant. That is Moonlight Barbecue over here. Everyone told me you have to eat at Moonlight Barbecue. So we're gonna get some barbecue before we head over to the expo. I'm actually pretty excited to uh, stop here at Moonlight Barbecue because they serve burgoo. This is a burgoo pot. I have never had burgoo. Burgoo is a uh, Kentucky delicacy uh, that I have I've never had the opportunity of actually trying. And apparently Owensboro is the burgoo capital of the world, it says right there, it's the barbecue capital of the world, a bold claim, but uh, this is a burgoo pot. So yeah, like I said, burgoo, I believe a combination of barbecue and stew, we'll, uh, we'll give it a try here at uh, Moonlight Barbecue. All right, looking over the menu here, I do want to try um, burgoo, and you can get a burgoo cup or a bowl. I also wanted to try some of the other barbecue as well. Um, thinking maybe the sampler plate, you get brisket, pork butt, and mutton. I don't know if I've ever had barbecued mutton before. Okay, so here is my combo plate. We have, okay, this pork, beef, and then mutton there. My sides, I got some green beans and some broccoli casserole. Give me a little garnish of a tomato slice, some onions, and a pickle. So a lot of meat on the plate, the pork, the beef, the mutton. Got some barbecue sauce there. I guess we put the barbecue sauce on the pork and the beef. And they actually have, they call this mutton dip. It's like a vinegar based sauce there. That is for the mutton. I've never heard the term mutton dip before. Yeah, it looks like a lot of vinegar. I'm not sure what else is, is in there. So let's just uh, dig in. We got the classic pork there. Very good. Look at that sauce. Sauce kind of like, interesting sauce. Sweet tomato sauce. Oh, beef there. Mm. The beef is really good. It's very fatty, and I actually really like that. Like fatty brisket. I always order the fatty brisket instead of the lean brisket. But I want to try this mutton. Very interesting to me. Mm. Kind of a dip, deeper, richer taste than the beef. You can't taste that. I'm gonna put a little more mutton dip on there. Right? Make sure I can taste that. Come on, give me a mild vinegar sauce. Yeah, well, that mutton's very good. interesting. Yeah, different. I mean, it's that barbecue flavor, but the mutton adds like a different flavor to it. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. I think mutton's kind of a fire taste. Almost has like a slight fishiness to it, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah. You don't see a lot of barbecue places offering mutton. The sides are good as well. Mm. And I saved the burgoo for last. Now it's like a barbecue stew. My understanding is it has three different meats in it. As well as some vegetables. Um, kind of just off the bat reminds me of Brunswick stew. But uh, let's see how it tastes. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It's a Kentucky delicacy. 
of Brazil. Ooh, very hot. Okay, so it's got a similar consistency as Brunswick stew. I can taste, I can taste the mutton in there. Mm. Yeah, the mutton has a completely different, like I said, completely different flavor than uh, some of the other barbecue meats. Very good, very rich, very meaty. Definitely a lot of mutton in there. Mm. Behold, the Clean Plate Club Wasteland. And with a belly full of mutton, it is time to head over to the Owensboro Convention Center for Fear Expo. And we have arrived here at the Owensboro Convention Center, which had free parking, which was super exciting. All right, swirly door. Here we go. All right, and here we are. Let's see what direction we're heading in. All right, got my badge. I guess we head in over here. So we head in here right between the two 12 foot tall Home Depot skeletons. All right, let's take a look at what's out here on the show floor. Oh, some pretty fun aliens right here. I like these, uh, these little ones. These are pretty cute. I kind of like stuff that's kind of scary and cute at the same time. A zombie. Ooh, a goblin. Goblins are one of my favorite creatures. Let's see, this is a Shell Sculpture Studio. It's created all these wonderful ghouls here. Oh, look at that. The Grim Reaper. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's pointing. Pointing to my grave. Oh! Now he's... Now he's spewing on me for some reason. The old point and spew. This is uh, Forbidden Props, Division of Dark Creations, ATX. Unless you get to pick a prop for the photo. Um, I gotta go with the cleaver there. All right, just me hanging out with my friend, the bloody surgeon here, with my uh, cleaver. Oh, sorry, did I get you in the eye there? We have some more uh, photo ops here. Dark Creations, this is The Revenant, and not not the Leonardo DiCaprio version. Oh, and then we got this guy here. I've seen him before. And a couple of uh, jolly clowns here. Oh, I like this guy. This is High Jinx here. See him slowly rotating there. Very stylish red outfit. You got a clock there, some luggage. Uh, Mr. Hijinks. We got some customized weapons over here. There's the Michael Myers knife. Different scenes from uh, Halloween there. I like the, I do like the uh, Texas chainsaw knife. I like how it's both a knife and a chainsaw. That's some pretty fun original costumes here. I like this here. This is Big Shot. I don't know. I thought he was like a snowman, but maybe more of a clown like character. This is Bubba, kind of the, I guess, a, uh, a chainsaw hillbilly type. Mr. Kringle here. He's got a couple of elves on shelves, or elves in chains there. And this is pretty wild here. This one's name is Quagmire. And look at that face there, that's pretty nuts. He's rotating towards us, but yeah, he's just got like sticks, a face made of sticks there. More grimly manner here. Some uh, cute little plushies, little zombie rabbits there. Yeah, all sorts of fun, spooky stuff. Oh, look at this. What is this? I can be made to spit or pee. Well, that's great. That's great. I really do like the uh, corn skull here. I guess it's called the evil corn. I like, I like the incorporating of uh, evil and corn cobs together. This is Midnight Studios Effects. And I like this. Is this, this reminds me of, uh, is this Sully? Sully from, uh, from uh, 
Monsters Inc. So Stuart some designs here. It looks like some black light art. Take a peek in here. Walk through the black light tunnel. Oh yeah, look at those tentacles. Oh yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin tentacles over here. So these black light skulls. Oh look at this guy here. It's just like a little little uh, knit Cthulhu. They're at the Scurry Face booth. This organization Let's Scare Cancer, where they're helping to raise money for people in the haunt community suffering uh, from cancer. It was just founded by Eddie from uh, Woods of Terror, a haunt I'm very familiar with. And look at that, little Eddie the Bone Daddy bobblehead there. Oh, look at this. You have your own doll now. She comes alive at night. She comes alive at night. Chucky's got nothing on her. So this is Spooky Dukes here. It says uh, he is Scurry Face's official pet. Travels everywhere with them. They've come to some amazing places. A tour like California, Nebraska, North Carolina, Colorado. And even spent three months in Scotland. Love taking photos with new people. Please feel free to take a photo with me. All right, going on here with Spooky Dukes, the carpet bagger, and Spooky Dukes together at last. Home, oh, my home. So we're headed in here. John Minsley Designs. Some uh, 3D artwork here. Oh, I encourage you to put your 3D glasses on at home. It actually does work. And look at some of these. These are actually really amazing here. They really pop in a, like a very interesting way. Like I said, go get your 3D glasses. It should translate. Actually, let me know in the comments section. I want everyone to go get a pair of 3D glasses. Look at this art and tell me if the 3D glasses work at home. Oh, look at this. Knit spider here. It's absolutely enormous. Yeah, apparently even the spider reacts to the uh, 3D glasses. I just tried it on. It works. Another spooky black light creations back here. Look at this squid hat here. It's a lot of fun. Also got a pig man here. What are your, like one of your eyes is falling out a little bit. Grave creations here. Looks like they make a little bit of everything. Custom masks, jewelry, escape rooms, haunt props. They even have, even have their own jam here. I'm going to be trying something here I possibly should not be trying. This is the Raspberry Reaper. Very hot jam. Let's see how much this... They said it will burn my face off. Let's see if it'll... See if it does. But yeah, it's taking a second. There we go. There we go. I feel it going through my... I feel my lips start to tingle. My throat closing up, my nostrils tingling. All right, a little haunt here. Head in. Oh, here we go. Awesome. There's some rattling pans there. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at this. Jangling, jangling bag here. Oh! All right. Uh oh. Pants patches here. Is that sign? Please touch. Oh yes, I will. We got a little 3D printed. Oh, it's a little uh, raccoon. Get a garbage can there. Of course, an axolotl because kids love axolotls. VFX creates here. They always have some uh, really fun puppets. These life-size interactive puppets with sound. And there's this guy over here in the. The uh, 
white tuxedo with a bloody werewolf head. Peppa. What's his Peppa. name? Peppy. Peppy? Peppy the monkey? A chimpanzee. Uh, chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are genuinely one of the most terrifying creatures on earth. Got me. He likes pizza? Well, this guy seems. This guy seems pretty friendly. Oh, watch his teeth. Watch his teeth. No. Oh, he bites the box sometimes. Oh, he does a little. He does a little monkey dance. Oh. Okay, I changed my mind. Chimpanzees aren't scary. They're adorable. Oh, jeez. Fog cannon here. Some giant smoke rings in the air. Halloween life here. Some teddy bears or dead e bears, if you will. Look at that minion there. I think Universal needs to do a minion haunt for Halloween Horror Nights. They own them. We have Dead Graves FX here. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, levitating table. I feel like you're having some sort of insane seance dinner here. Oh, it's a lot of fun. There we go. <laughs> Wait, here it goes. There we go. All right, we got the miner here. Oh. That's scary. Purgatory props. Comes to life with the the plunger there. Halloween VFX creates. Very colorful bat of nails there. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, no, no. Oh, not a taser! <laughs> Don't taste me, bro. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Would you like some knife throwing? Knife throwing. I love knife throwing. <laughs> I'm the bad aim, though. Unsub masks here. Of course, don't unsub from the channel. Oh, yes. Got a uh, Nosferatu there. Of course I, of course I love the uh, the chimpanzee. I think I think I think that's where we're haunting to go. More towards the chimpanzee route. Look what they have here at Pumpkin Pulp. They have a lucky Sasquatch toe. Look at that. Still got the hair on it. I wonder how much luck a Sasquatch toe would bring you. Everyone's gonna be carrying Sasquatch toes from now on. A little twist on the vintage masks here. Look at these clowns with birthday candles on their heads. This is Don Sharon Company when you scare enough to wear the best. Got some very creepy medical clothing here. That looks a little bit like Alice Cooper. But look at this guy. I don't know, this guy's the scariest thing I've seen so far. Something very, oh, you see his eyes through there. Yeah, something about these like straight jacket masks. Very, very unsettling. Panic mechanics here. Oh, look at this, it's a, it's a fox there. Oh, chaos reigns for sure. Oh my goodness. The Imagination's Halloween Superstore here. We have a, a Steamboat Killy. And his wife here. Oh, look at this. His apron says, Eat children. Making his intentions, intentions very well known. So, we got the uh, Easter bunny here for your Easter celebrations. Oh, look at this here. here it's a unique creation this is really cool I like the colors on this one and then uh, the mouth face there and a very spooky scuba diver you see the actual pit to hell here you see the skeletons reaching up from the bowels from the bowels of hell oh my goodness 
Alright, we'll try to get a better a better view of hell from up here. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Pretty great. Wicked effects here. I do love this bucket of evil ice cream. Look at that. The cherry on top is a skull. Strega Moon here. We can get some various anatomically educational uh, items here. Oh, whose head is this? Hello. Hello. Gonna make up. I am here to watch the makeup demo. So we're making a crystallized zombie. Into her own little oddity. Crystals and mushrooms galore. Awesome. I'm getting the mask in place there, latex mask. I think this would make me very, very claustrophobic. You enjoy you enjoying the makeup show? Yes I am! Mostly because I found the beautiful coffee bagger. Oh boy. He would make a great stew. A stew? Stew. Yeah, you know how to make stew? Stew? Yeah. yeah. You get in the pot, I stir. Oh, there you go. You, you sit with your baby headed stick there. <laughs> Freddy! Freddy, what are you doing? Hey, Freddy, how are you doing? I remember you from Cranworth. Oh, yeah, glad you made it out here to Kentucky. Nice oh to my see goodness. you too. <laughs> what you up to? Oh, you know. The usual. The usual? Yeah. Not biting kids. Uh, I promise. Not eating kids? Okay. Not eating, promise. Uh, good work. Keep up keep keep up the not eating kids. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Remember, friends are forever. Friends are forever. At the booth for Yup, That's Scary Podcast. Can you tell me about the podcast? Yes, what's up, guys? My name is Willie May. I'm host and producer of Yep, That's Scary. It is a Halloween horror and haunted house podcast where we actually interview the best of the best in the industry and let you guys get to know them. So we have right now in uh, April 27th, we have Alex who played in Thanksgiving, the movie that's going to be on our show. Oh, okay. Uh, John Carver. Uh, we actually teamed up with Sony Pictures and did a premiere in Atlanta, Georgia, and also brought uh, Thanksgiving to Mad Monster. And yeah, so we got some actors coming in, and uh, you never know who's going to be on here on our show. Directors, you know, uh, celebrities, stars, and whatnot. But we love the, the bat, uh, carpet bagger. Oh, and thank you're you. Watching. Yep, that's scary. Oh, hey there. Oh, jeez. No one said anything about skittering. Haunted Hills Productions. These fun little fairies here with like Demogorgon faces. And then uh, down here, got these shrunken heads with bright, bright hair colors. Little Oompa Loompa there. Willy Wonka. But where is, where is the unknown? FAS design. These fun bunny masks. Look at this little creature here. Over here at Graveyard Ghoul, got these fun puppets. Whoa, there we go. Oh, look at this marionette here. Well, oh, so what's it the spelling out there? Is that was that a X? Oh, where's it going? X G X G X. I think I think it's just messing with me at this point. Oh my gosh, he almost got me there. Oh, look at that monkey there. Look at that little guy. <laughs> oh my god. Very cute here at uh, at Ghostly 
Ghostly Productions. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying. Again, monkeys, the scariest thing. Oh, this guy over here, he looks, he looks very, very familiar. Here it comes. A little, the first there. <laughs> There, little guy. Whoa, there he goes. Is he coming for me? Kooky, spooky costumes here. Now, look at these skull faces here. And then the Day of the Dead. Costume. Plot 13 is these hand painted signs here. The freak show sign there, live freaks. And then uh, look at this shop to drop at the Monroeville Mall. I was just there a week or so ago. That's where uh, Dawn of the Dead takes place, filmed there. And uh, yeah, the Evans City Cemetery, that's the other, that's where Night of the Living Dead, the uh, cemetery, is. Yeah, just a lot of fun. Uh, Different signs here from different horror movies. Oh, that's Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. They are the, the, uh, the uh, dark ride with all the killers. This is decompositions here. Some quite ghoulish things here. Yeah, different zombies and skeletons. Oh, this guy here. Oh, his dog is growling at me. Some color there. Glad to see this back. Monster Wars, my friend Jason's company, does some great props here. Look at this here, this toxic waste creature coming out of the smoldering barrel. Some buckets of fun there. I really like this uh, deep sea diver. I don't know, something about the deep sea diver helmet's always terrify me, one of the odd phobias I have. Got some zombies here. Look at that, look at that Nosferatu there. Cobwebs and candlesticks here is some really unique stuff. Got these babies, baby with coffin there. Creepy babies there. The snowman trophy. I think this may be the first time I've seen a taxidermy snowman head. That is pretty, Unique there, and then I guess this is a, oh Battle Cat skull from uh, from He-Man. To the variety of the shrunken heads here, you got little devil shrunken heads, zombie shrunken heads, this blue shrunken head here with the do rag, some more traditional shrunken head back there. These are some taxidermied rodents of unusual size. I believe that's from the Princess Bride. The Scarecrow creations, not to be confused with Scarecrow. They actually have a Scarecrow-like creature right here. And then also, I don't know, something deeply disturbing about a spooky Uncle Sam. Got some witches and clowns here. Fright Bros here. I like these uh, aquatic masks here. Oh, look at this. It's like. His nose, kind of like a tiny little pig nose there. That's interesting. Oh, that's some spooky, uh, spooky four-leaf clover there. Maybe for a St. Patrick's Day haunt. FFFX mask yeah. here. Like this bony guy here. His name is Kifo. And some various weapons. I really like the uh, this corn hammer. The corn hammer there. I noticed that you know a lot. You see a lot of. Uh, spooky corn, like a lot of haunts that incorporate corn. I think that, you know, because a, a corn maze is a traditional type of haunted house, so a corn hammer would go perfectly in a corn maze. Also the extra scary uh, pig men there. And then look at these bird faces. Oh, wow. Scream Fest Studios here. Got uh, the custom gravestones. You can see different gravestones from different movies here. Uh, Beetlejuice, Michael Myers there, there's Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. 
That one's got the Reaper on it saying, you're Lauren next. Lauren Barron. Barron. If there's a Lauren Barron, please come to registration. We have your purse. CFX here makes some amazing masks. The ape man here. And just some straight spare body parts. Oh yeah, it feels like a real heart. It's about the weight of a real heart, about as squishy as a real heart. Whenever I look at these masks, I look for like things I've never seen before, like creative ideas. And I don't think I've ever seen a um, a, uh, a ice goat before. An ice goat. Oh yeah. And uh, I like this too. This uh, like kind of cartoony looking devil here. And just look at this. Some sort of like day glow insect creature. <laughs> We have uh, the Killers the Card Game here. Actually a card game you can play competitively when you're playing as serial killers. Jeffrey Dahmer there. Well, there's Eileen Warnos, John Wayne Gacy. Is this, wow. is this Ed Kemper here? Yeah, that's old Kemper. Ed Kemper. My and buddy old Rick Fisher does all the serial Rick killer Ramirez there. Good old sick Rick. Oh, there we go. Pogo montage. Is that like a, what's that like a That's map of floor plan? From floor the plan? House. That's yeah. really cool. And his old business oh my gosh. Yeah. Is this a is this an Ed Gein it bobblehead? Is Ed Gein bobblehead. Oh my goodness. That is like my table mascot. Ed Gein uh, bobblehead. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, my buddies at uh, Paul Bearer Press make this. And I bought it when I first started doing Killers and doing the whole convention thing. And I was like, oh, we gotta have the wedding key. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Carson Max. How are you doing? Good. We watch you on YouTube all the oh, time. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We love your stuff. Project Backfire here. It's a try me button. Oh, there we go. It's like a little... Wet. A glorious noise. <laughs> At the uh, Hells of Poppin' Circus Sideshow, they actually performed last night, so sadly, sadly I missed it. I'm here with Shore E. Dangerously. Now, I've never met you before, but I, I, have, I have been to every Ripley's in the United States. Nice to meet you. And so I have, I, I have photos of myself with you as a wax figure. Can I ask you one quick question? Yeah. Were you the one that went to the, uh, the uh, reopening after they remodeled the Gallagher? Yeah. <clears throat> I saw your video oh, when you were walking you. over, my, over my uh, statue at the six minute mark, I think it was. I was like, oh yeah, finally, that was the first time I had ever seen my statue in the museum. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, that I'm glad cool. I could help you. Yeah, thank you very much. Help you with there. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Did you have a good show last night? Sadly, I did not see it. Yeah, we had a really good show last night. A lot of fun. A uh, couple of hiccups, you know, a couple of malfunctions, some props, but overall everything was really good. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, you so, you do the the one handed handstand is like a tribute to Johnny X. Yeah, a little bit. It's it, you know, some just kind of keep him alive in people's minds. But uh, you know, I've said in, in kind of some recent interviews, you know, I, I have the utmost respect for him. I always have. But you know, his time was then. Yeah. It's my time now. So yeah. So you know, I'm trying to get out of the shadow a little bit. You know, but uh, build your build your own name up. Exactly. You know, I would have my own legacy because you know, obviously, he is that he has his. And it was legendary and it'll live on forever. And I'm just trying to get the same thing going for myself. So yeah. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Nice finally. Meeting you too, sir. Thank you for coming. Awesome. Oh look at that, we got the low lying fog there. Oh look at that. Some flashing, <laughs> flashing fog. And there we go. The the makeup has been applied. Let me get, let's give I get it get in here and get a, get a look there. Oh wow. You love the translucent glow of a fresh zombie. Hey, Freddy. All right, we're gonna be having a monster fashion show here in uh, just a few moments. Cotton candy there. Oh, look at the cotton candy. Oh, 
What's in the what's in the bag there? What is happening? Oh my god. Mr. Chuckles the clown. Evil evil scuba diver there. A mad scientist who is experimenting with human blood and alien DNA. It's going to be brought to you, costumes brought to you by FAM Design Show. Matched by Monsters Alive. Silent Heroes. Oh, jeez. Got an axe there. Met her earlier. The mutant, mutant body shop rat. Nosferatu there. Bad. Goodness. Oh, we got a big man here. He's got a foot. Oh, what's he doing? He's eating, eating, eating the foot. Oh my goodness. Religious figure there. Stop to make out with that guy. Hopping, hopping bunny there. The scarecrow there. Murder Marie. Burlap twins here. That's pretty creepy. Yeah, that's pretty spooky there. Burlap is terrified. Now we got the Voodoo King. Oh, look at that. Oh, there comes, there comes his bride right there. What a uh, beautiful couple. Oh, she's got an axe. Yeah, out here in front of the convention center, there's a statue of the Kentucky Kid here. It's a famed uh, motorcycle racer from Owensboro, Kentucky. So thank you so much. We're going to be here at Fear Expo in Owensboro, Kentucky. Had a great time, a lot of fun, a lot of fun to be had. A monstrous fashion show, all sorts of cool costumes, all sorts of great vendors, so many cool things. And I got to meet Short E dangerously. So had a great day here in Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm going to be heading west tomorrow, I believe. There's Something uh, something I needed to check in on uh, just a little bit west of here So hopefully you guys will stick around and uh, join me on my Oh, there's a motorcycle right there 
hope you guys will follow with me and continue as I continue on my adventures here. I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos, especially those of you who follow along daily. It means a lot to me, so thank you. Uh, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I saw the other day, I was watching a different channel, and the person was said subscribe button, and the subscribe button flashed. So I don't know, I'm saying subscribe button. I'm hoping that the subscribe button is flashing right now. Let me know in the comment section if it's actually flashing. I just saw this yet last night, and I was like, wow. I wonder if it will flash if I do that. So let me know. <laughs> but uh, I travel around the country, film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel other ways, consider contributing to Patreon, $3 or more. We'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, as well as doing personalized messages on Cameo. And all those things help keep this motorcycle on the road, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.